My definition of hope has changes, changed over different experiences when I first immigrated to the United States, when I enlisted in the Army, when I got to my first boxing tournament. So to me, hope is the ability to push through. And even if you have to lie to yourself or pretend that things will get better, eventually it will if you believe it hard enough. So it's just the tenacity to just keep moving forward. Everyone expects a soldier to have like this robot, like um, this machine, but reality is, especially during the pandemic, um, that second day where the first case happened, I immediately had to drop all my classes, all the stuff I had planned for this semester, and immediately head out to that same site where that person was. And I didn't have time to tell my family, hey, I'm leaving. It was just straight like, hey, you got two hours to report here. So I had to drop everything and go against a virus where I'm a soldier. I'm taught how to fight, how to shoot, but a virus is different. I can't grab it. I can't put it in a chokehold. I can't shoot it. So for me, it was a difficult concept. And all my family members are in their elderly stages. I'm the most youngest in my family. So to me, it was a big scare. I felt hopeless because I had to drop out of school. I had to drop out of my studies my tournament training, and more importantly, I had to report to a fight that I was, I had no idea what I was getting into. And once again, when the riots at the DC Capitol happened, I once again had to drop everything. And for me, I felt hopeless because every one of my, every one of my friends or students, classmates, they get to continue on with their lives, whether it's in a school or through Zoom, I couldn't. I had to like balance like a jillion things. And I felt hopeless because None of my friends could have helped me, not even John Jay College, they had a difficult time reaching out to me and I felt like everything I had to do was on my own. The biggest thing for hope that I got back was accepting that no one is going to be your hero, no one's going to tap in on soldiers saying, hey, like everything's going to be great, because it's not, you have to put in some steps, there could be people to help you, but you got to take the first steps, so for me, I immediately took my classes in between like my duty stations and when I was on um, doing my rotation. So it was either between sleep or actually doing my studies. And I chose studies because I knew that nobody was gonna wait for me at the finish line saying, hey, you did all right. Because reality wasn't. Like I finished all my classes and got back to my family, made sure they're safe. It was just constant remind yourself that it's gotta get better and whatever, why any means necessary because no one was gonna help me None of my teachers were going to say, hey, like, I feel bad for you. My friends could say, oh, we appreciate you, but it's not really true. Like, you know, you don't know what I had to do over there. It was more of just keeping to myself, knowing that I'm the only one that can pull myself out of this. That's how I kept my hope, majority of the time. I learned that, especially this year, coming back after the whole capital stuff, um, it's hope actually played a big factor because I learned that I'm way more capable than I thought I was because before um, I was a 17 year old straight out of high school has no idea what the hell he's gonna do with his life and just going through this and when I come back for like applying for all these jobs and they say hey what have you been doing the pandemic it I've learned that I've done way way more than I thought it was like I was in like every major incident this entire past two years that America had and knowing that like I could handle that coming back to school was a easy breeze like it was it was nothing like all my friends are complaining about oh, I studied so late at night but I haven't slept in three days and I still managed to do all my studies at the same time so I learned that I'm way more capable than I thought I was and I shouldn't feel bad because I'm different than most students because most students complain about oh I have a nine to five I have a 24 hour shift my life is literally 24 7 if something happens I have to drop everything and continue up and pick it up where I came from so I'm just more capable than I thought it was as much as I love, hate my job, one of the good things I found hopeful was that I was able to save a lot of people's, like, help people out, whether it's delivering food or helping deliver vaccines or um, setting up the test sites or, well, during the riots in that case, it was physically help people get out to a safe distance, putting my life in danger. So to me, hopeful, just keep doing what I'm doing because whether I like it or not, there's someone that's always going to need help. And just because I may have given up hope, that doesn't mean I should take that right from them. That's what I hope for, just to keep helping.